In recent years, drug abuse has been on an alarming rise in Nigeria and has led to the dilapidating case of addicts spawning among Nigerian youth. The use of hard drugs has become a social menace and cuts across all strata. People experiment with drugs for many reasons. Many first try drugs out of curiosity, to have a good time, peer pressure or for a sense of belonging, or in an effort to improve athletic performance or ease another problem, such as stress, anxiety or depression. Use doesn't automatically lead to abuse, and there is no specific level at which drug use moves from casual to problematic. Drug abuse and addiction is less about the amount of substance consumed or the frequency, and has more to do with the consequences of drug use. No matter how often or how little you're consuming, if your drug use is causing problems in your life, at work, school, home, or in your relationships, you likely have a drug abuse or an addiction problem. On this episode of Public Announcement, Hip TV takes an intriguing and informative expose into the alarming rise of drug abuse such as marijuana, cigarettes, heroin, cocaine, non-prescribed drug consumption, uncertified pharmacies, drug overdose, its effects and prevailing circumstances surrounding it. Welcome to another episode of Public Announcement. Kano has the country's highest drug abuse rate based on the number of seizures, arrests of addicts and convictions of arrested dealers according to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency NDLEA. On December 6, 2013, the NDLEA destroyed more than 10 metric tons of drugs including cannabis, cocaine and methamphetamine with an estimated street value of some 1.4 million US dollars. More unconventional drugs are also being used, not just codeine laced cough syrup which has become popular among married women and teenagers in secondary schools and tertiary institutions, but solvents and powerful horse stimulants. Indian hemp, otherwise called Igbo, Taffy or weed is the most common and readily available drug on the streets of Nigeria. It is relatively cheap as a pinch of weed sells for say 50 naira. This is arguably the most popular and most used drugs among Nigerian youth. Cannabis, now as common as Sacha water, can be easily purchased on the streets, bars and nightclubs. It is also common to see several peddlers whistling for customers during musical concerts along street corners or a specific publicly known leisure sport. There are various reasons people get addicted. Some because of the family's history of addiction, a few had traumatic childhood experiences. Some others have mental disorders such as stress, depression or anxiety. Early use of drugs and also injecting drugs increases the chance of getting addicted. The end result of drug abuse most sadly always leads to death. But prior to this, there are some effects that shouldn't be dismissed with utmost obliviousity. Hip TV spoke to a few Nigerians on their opinion on drug abuse, its effects and future of a silent social vibe. The reason why people abuse drugs and cocaine and stuff like that with is because they lack um, understanding, they lack um, knowledge, probably illiteracy and the environment they live on, you know, they live around. So I think it has to do with orientation. Probably most of them that never read about it, they have to abuse it because they don't have full knowledge about what it's content. There are many factors that are responsible. Number one, like I said, illiteracy. Number two, poverty. Poverty, like the people that smoke weed, Indian hemp, most of them, 90% of them are, they are, they are street guys, they are hoodlums. So poverty and otherwise, I should say, upbringing. The few ones I've seen, especially the previous place I've lived, they don't look responsible, you know, like the hoodlums, like I said. Um, I, still, I still saw one lately, out of most of the things he's been smoking, he's not running the streets. He looks so like a, a crazy person, he looks insane. So that's one of the, uh, uh, the results. Well, um, being the person that I am and I have been to that point before, 
I would say it all boils down to depression. You know, the economy is hard. Things are very difficult now. And you can see from look at my face, I am very, very tired from, you no, know, exhausted from working. You understand? So, but eradicating it, if, you, if, if we're eradicating it, we need to start from the source. And the source is where the drugs come from. Pharmacies, chemists, you know. Uh -huh. that's, that's all I can say about it, but it all boils down to depression. Youths nowadays are very depressed and they are looking for something to just take their mind off everything. Well, I personally think that is to make them, I don't know, feel some sort of high or whatever, you know. Like, I don't know about Nigeria, but, you know, um, drug addicts um, over there, they normally take drugs for, it starts from probably peer pressure, then some of them are coerced into it. It's basically the feeling, the feeling out of the ordinary, that's basically why, and it, it, it kills, and that's what they don't know, and they get to find out in the long run, so. Have you ever taken Indian Helm? No, I haven't. Why? It seems hard to believe, but I, I'm a girl person. I don't, I don't understand how I can take something that is hot inside my body. Smoke. I, I don't, I don't understand. So I've never done. I've never smoked a cigarette. I've never taken any help. What we say uh, due to because of the hardship of the country, the youth not employ, indulging all those. It's not good, and it's it's damaging our image of the country. <laughs> Um, uh, really, I do not take drugs because it's a something that I don't even like right from my youth because it's a thing that is damaging people's life. I don't even see the reason why some people are taking drugs. Uh, really, I against it because when you are taking drugs, really, all your senses will be changed or all your senses or all your action will double. You understand? But I see some people that they believe that without taking drugs, they can't live, which is very, uh, which is very lying. You understand? I will just advise them. You understand? In order to leave drug and try, in order, in order to be on their safe, because for them, in order to be taking drugs, it's a thing that it will still affecting them at the later on, in the full show. Well, most people take drugs because they are ignorant. They don't know the consequences of what they're taking. And some people take it as well because their friends are taking it. Because they want to be high. And it has a lot of negative consequences in their body. So for the government to eradicate it, it's going to take even the help of we followers. If our leaders must eradicate drugs, we, cannot, we will be able to help them as well. Because if... We see people taking it. We don't report to the, you know, drug agencies and all that. It will be difficult for them to tackle the problem. And I would advise the public to abstain from taking drugs because it does not help your health at all. If you're educated, you know that taking drugs damages your system and you're prone to death. You're prone to suffer from different illnesses. So it's just better for you to leave drugs because it, does, it has no, there's no positivity in it. It's all about negativity. It's all about damage. Don't take, don't take, don't take. You don't take when I take. I don't take again. I don't take, you don't take. That one? Why you stop? No, 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 nothing. It's no good for body. Uh, they disturb me. Uh, uh, <laughs> you they make my you they make my body hot. I they tell them they they stop. If they consider for my uh, the penny play when I die, if they consider with me, I will tell them they stop, they're no grease stop. I take it sometimes, sir, because of work. Hmm? Because of my power to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to give me energy. So how many 
how many how many how many uh, wraps do you take a day? Oh, mm, a day. I used to take like two wraps, sir. Why is it? Is it healthy? Is it healthy for the body? No, no it's not healthy. You know it's not healthy, but you still take it. Why? Hmm? You know it's not healthy, but you still take it. Why? No, yeah, because of work, I used to take it now. Because of my power. But if I don't even want to smoke it, gone. I won't have power to work. As far as I'm concerned, there are a lot of things that cause that. Some people take it because of frustration. Um, some because of peer pressure. Or no, let me say peer group. You understand me? And it's a very bad thing, you understand? To me, I don't advise that. Drug is very bad. If you're doing drug, just do away with it. It can't help. Have you ever taken it? Drugs? Never. I won't test it. I won't. I won't. Why? Ah, <laughs> It's been told everywhere. Like the tobacco will say that um, cigarette, right? Like too much of cigarette is hazardous to the health. So why should I do that when I'm being told already that it's hazardous to my health? Then I shouldn't take anything that will tamper with my health. The government, they have a lot to do, most especially in Nigeria. Um, I learned fashion life now taking a step about those that smoke on the streets, those that smoke around. It's a very good step. And I think with that step, it's a good one. It's a good one. It can help to eradicate it a little bit. But I'm very sure it's going to be very hard to take drugs out just like that. But with that step, it's okay. It's okay. At least, let's start from somewhere and see where to take us to. What, yeah. do you have, what advice do you have for people who indulge in drugs? Uh, don't take drugs. Very bad to the health. It's obvious when you take it, it makes the brain malfunction. It makes you do what you can't do ordinarily. So I don't, I don't advise anyone to take drugs. The effects of drug abuse will be examined from three aspects to include the social, financial, and health aspects. Socially, hard drugs makes the consumer hyperactive at the point of taking this drug. This makes the taker to behave abnormally, further contributing to such vices and conditions as armed robbery, sexually transmitted diseases, and many other societal vices. Aside these, people who abuse drugs eventually dissociate and exclude themselves from loved ones and the public as a whole. Financially, an addict tends to spend more money on the purchase of these drugs most times even when they aren't buoyant. This often the not makes the addict bankrupt or begin searching for money by all means and the negative ripple effects endless. Health-wise, it makes the drug consumer become unstable. This weakens the body's immune system and allows a lot of disease infiltrate the system of the taker and can eventually lead to death. A few of these effects include increased blood pressure and heart rate, chronic lung disease, cardiovascular disease, stroke, cancer of the mouth, adverse pregnancy outcome, impaired memory, slurred speech, violence, and more. Before cases of addiction become chronic and beyond remedy, some of the preventive and rehabilitating phases include the aggressive extinction of all sources of these hard drugs, including the farms where they are planted and the retailers who distribute them. Parents should also monitor the kind of friends their children hang out with and guide against bad companies. To rehabilitate, teaching of effects of drug abuse in schools, continuous campaign against the use of hard drugs at the federal, state and local levels, consent of a doctor should be sought before the prolonged take of a particular soft drug. Stiff penalties should also be given to anybody found dealing in hard drugs. The instant and fall high that accompanies drug consumption and abuse is nothing worth exposing one's health, relationship and life investments to. And that's it on this week's episode of Public Announcement. So we'll bring you another informing and intriguing topic next week. It's goodbye.